interesting and significant table. As you can see yourself, how many words appear in this table. So in order to explain to you properly the table, I will try to emphasize on each name and what he has to do with. So the title, in fact, of this uh, table, Bible called table, is the oppressors of Israel. It means enemies of Israel all over history, not, not in fact all over history, but the last history. So the first thing what you see here is the Hebrew word Sorerim. 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 Oppressors. Now, oppressors of whom definitely we have a Ephraim, indefinitely Ephraim, this is really the name for Jews, Yosef Ephraim, definitely known Bnei Ephraim. Then what you see more in this table is, in fact, one can say you can see black and white, I mean, as I mentioned to you, that according to Kabbalah, the gematria of the word Israel is darkness, choshech, and or darkness and light. Why? Because Israel, as we know, our Rabbi tell us, is no gray. Other they are up like stars shining the word, or the, if not, the translation, the Torah is the opposite. So very, we find a lot in the Bible that refers to the Jews, so it's a fine, name Ephraim. In fact, most of the tribes, really, the ten tribes were from Ephraim. Then, when we see more into this table, yeah, so many words. So, let us start with the negative, with the oppressors of Israel. The would they trouble? So the first and the famous one are right in the center. You can see it coming from the bottom to the top. Here yeah, you can see clearly what comes here is Amman and Hitler. Yeah, Amman and Hitler come together. Here yeah, you can see it. You can see Amman and Hitler. Unfortunately, not so clear because I took it from the YouTube I did, but <laughs> to make it clear, I have to explain to you. So here you have the word Amman and Hitler. Yeah, Amman and Hitler coming here in black. And clearly... <laughs> are known to be the real oppressors of Israel. Amman in the past, in Purim, and Hitler in Germany, Holocaust. Now, according to Kabbalah, it is an interesting idea, both the Hatam Sofer, Rebbe, which says that basically the decree of Haman to exterminate the Jewish people is was not really cancelled completely, but it will come in different times when Jews will translate the Torah. And it is indicated, this is what is written, that in the scroll of Esther is written when Esther wanted to abolish, cancel this decree to exterminate Jews. So Ammon said, Hashmero said, I cannot cancel it because something which was signed and sealed by the king cannot, but I give you a permission to fight with the America, to destroy them, to kill them, but I cannot, <laughs> cannot cancel it. So our rabbis tell us that this decree of exclamation to Jews was with Halmanitsky. Halmanitsky was a very cruel 
Als ruler who killed a lot of Jews. It was a very famous story. And also, Rabbi Stella, there is a certain scene that brought to this terrible holocaust in that time, really, of Halmanitsky in Europe. Then came the other one, the holocaust, Hitler. This was a, like the third round of the decree of Haman, and this was the Holocaust, also because Jews translate the Torah, he did not keep the Shabbos, and no reform, and all these things, so brought to the Holocaust. But then, this is the last one, and this very famous story, there's the ten Nazis who were reincarnation of Haman children, and hung, we know the whole story, famous one, one can see in the net, in the internet, the whole full story. So basically, Haman and Hitler are connected, like Haman was the first one, and Hitler was the last one, wanted to exterminate the Jewish people. So, as I said, you can see here in black, Haman, Hitler, in one sentence, yeah? Haman and Hitler. Then, what more we have here? So, let us see to the oppressors. So, you have here in black, Nazim. Nazis, yeah? This was the Nazim in Germany, definitely the great oppressors of Jews. With Amalek, you can see in red, quite a small skip of Amalek, the Amalekites. So Amalekites here, and the Nazis, the oppressors of Israel. Then we have, unfortunately, haters of Israel. There was Obama, we know quite well. Islamic, yeah. And Hillary, you know, they didn't like Israel. And also, our, in this category. Now, what is so interesting is that you have here the word Purim. The Purim, yeah, listen to a Purim, really. The Purim, you can see a Purim coming here, the Purim. And this was a time exactly, yeah, when Haman ruled. Then what we have more is very, very interesting. We have the positive things. In fact, let us carry on with the negative because you have many more of them. You have here Amalekite, you know, those are the cruel people all over, like the Nazis, now we have Iran, right? all of them, those who want to wipe out Israel, to eradicate Israel, exterminate. So here you have Amalek, and now who is the heavenly angel of the Amalekite? The Samael. He is really the angel who is a Satan, basically. He comes here many million in the old Torah. Yeah, you can see it, it's Samael Sar. So he comes here also. And today, this is Iran. We have Iran here. Iran who comes here also. <laughs> then, so all this really is the negative, speaking about the oppressors yeah, of Israel. And let us now see the positive. Now the way over Adam, yeah, because Adam also. We know Christianity in the past, the whole kill a lot of Jews. Yeah, coming here also. Now let us see now the positive thing. So as we saw Purim here, yeah, Purim comes here. And definitely we have Esther. We have Esther, you can see Esther comes here. And Mordechai, yeah. Mordechai in red, comes Mordechai and Esther. Ah, those were those who saved the Jewish people in Purim. They told the Jews there is a decree to just exterminate you. And they listened, they fasted three days and prayed and they were saved. In the Holocaust, Rabbi said the reform and those who translate the Torah against the Torah. They will bring also Holocaust, but uh, 
Unfortunately, they did not listen, so the Holocaust came. This Holocaust, which was <laughs> delayed from Purim to Germany and Hermanitsky, amazing. So you have your mother high, and Esther, what a salah, salvation. Rescue, you can see it here. Rescue, because they brought rescue to the Jewish people, salvation and rescue. And it is a salah and Yeshua. Yeah, in Hebrew, you have. The word Yeshua, which is salvation, coming here, salvation. And then you have rescue, Asala. Both comes here. Now it is interesting, speaking about Purim, you know, at that time the king of Persia was Cyrus, and he was very good to Israel. He allowed Israel to, to settle and even to build the temple. It was, the, it was in the time of Esther. So... Interesting. Now, by the way, you have also, you know, these people, unfortunately, belong to the impure forces, which is Lilith, yeah? This is a force, the evil force of lust, yeah? With the Arabs, yeah? Lust, and they are come here. We know quite well that the, the masculine is Samael that we see here, very small skip, every six letters. And the female is Lilith, yeah? Both of them are the source of evil forces, lust and pride in Edom and Ishmael. So both of them coming here, a lot of troubles lead to Jews. Then what we see more in this table, definitely Edom, as we said, then definitely hoping that will bring to Messiah, sons of Joseph, because the troubles normally are preceding redemption, yeah? Like labor pains, yeah? And here we have, as we said, Mordechai and Esther, yeah, amazing. Now, it is not at all simple to meet all of them together, so many verses and all of them related. Then we open, waiting for the son of Jesse. You have your Ben Ishai, Ben Ishai. Iran. Now, in fact, this is what I show you here, that you really, by the way, there is a date of last year, because the last year was a date according to Khatam Safer, which is the, the begin, the really the beginning, the process of the redemption. He says this, from the year 5781, God will lift up the needy one and bring redemption. So it's interesting that all this process of redemption really started on this year which come here, Tavshin Pei Aleph. So as I said, <laughs> very interesting table, a lot of verse, yeah, <laughs> all are related, it makes the table very, very significant. Now what is important, as I said, if you want to see it properly, <laughs> then you should put in YouTube the oppressors in Bible code. If you put only the professor in Bible code, Glazerson, so you can see it, the same table, but definitely will not be able to see each <laughs> word properly. You see all together what is written. But here, what I wanted to show you here, that so many verses and all related and clearly showing the dark time of history of Jews, all this one, which the enemies, like, unfortunately, Obama, Hillary, we know quite well, uh, we're not so positive like Donald Trump, and then the Nazis definitely comes here, and uh, Edom, yeah, Edom, they said, in the past, who said, they said, Edom, but from the other side, we have the light, which will come after the darkness, it will be the dark, the, the light like him, in Purim, the rescue and salvation by, by Esther and Mordechai. Now, open it will be with the son of Jesse. So as I said, very interesting and significant and relevant table based on the idea that Torah is the blueprint of the world. When God created the world, he looked in the Torah, and according to it, he created the world. So this is all the idea of Bible code, yeah? Or the idea of Bible code, based on this idea, the Vilna Gaon would say that past, present, future is in the Torah. 
So it's so interesting that exactly this is what the Bible code is. So here you see it so clearly, it's only history, really, you know, big part of history is in the Torah, clearly telling us when Jews keep the Torah, there is light, rescue, and salvation. When not, oh, there are Nazis, there is Holocaust, there is Amalek. So interesting, significant, very interesting in the table. As I said, if you want to see it in the YouTube, you put the words oppressors in Bible code, Gladerson. But this one, as I said, because I want to show you each word properly, you know, and to explain how it comes and so on. And I said that this program that I'm using is Dr. Rothenberg. He himself became also Jews when he saw this phenomenon from Professor Rips. He's like Professor Rips, scientist who came from Russia. And, uh, and uh, when the, uh, Professor Rips showed him to him, he checked, he said, definitely. <laughs> It is clear proof that the Torah is from heaven, he became Orthodox Jews, and he himself, in fact, wrote on, on the court, the book, all his truths in English. And he said it's more important statistic in when you have minimal, when you have best meetings, you know, a lot of them you have here, like Samael, the angel, is minimal, and many others in good meetings, definitely, yeah, of all these words, which clearly shows the connection. Nazis and Amalekites and so on all are connected. So let us really strengthen our faith in God. And our rabbis tell us that now the danger <laughs> that Israel has is exactly like in Purim. Our rabbis tell us if, um, if Jews will not do Shuvah, will not repent willingly, God will appoint up as a cruel leader like Haman in Persia, and he will threaten to exterminate them. Exactly what you have today. We have today Haman. Amani, Amani, like we have Amman there, we have to the Amani, yeah, with exactly the same thing. So all this story definitely is very, very relevant to our days also. And hoping that he will do Shuvah, we will repent, we will keep the Torah, and then we'll have the son of Jesse will come and rescue and salvation from all the troubles. So he said interesting and very significant table.